everybody so today I went to Primark and I saw this PS bronze highlight and glow little palette and as soon as I saw I was like that looks exactly like the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kits I was like I just need to buy it and do a fitty one and like see if there's anything like it. I don't have the Anastasia glow kits like to compare it to but I've seen like hundreds of photos online. Yeah like I said it's a PS bronze highlight and glow. It's just a little palette that had like they had a few of these left so I think they're pretty popular. This is what it looks like on the inside. I haven't swatched them or applied them to my face yet. So yeah I haven't swatched them yet but I think maybe someone else did in the shop. And I never noticed until I got home. But that's okay. It doesn't really bother me. So yeah, I love the packaging. It's like a bronzy. It's like a bronzy metallic on the inside. It has a little face. And the colours of the highlighters. There. And it just has all the ingredients on the back. And this was £4, as you can see up here. £4. Like, that's £1 for one of these. I'm going to swatch them on my arms first and then I'll apply them to my cheekbones. I do have the Jeffree Star X Money MUA highlighter on but I'm just going to like dab some foundation over the top. I'm going to swatch this first colour up the top here which is called Sunbeam. So I'm just going to go one, two, three. Looks pretty pigmented. It's very creamy. It's pretty nice. Probably can't really see it. It's like sort of matches my skin tone. Uh, I'll put it over like clip in anyway with a flash on. Okay, so it's pretty nice. It's not like whoa intense in your face, which some people like. So the next colour is called Siesta, I think. Not sure. This is like more of a pinky highlight. Let's put that on here. Oh. Okay, that one's really pretty. What is there? It's like a rosy pinky very nice. I don't think I have a pinky highlight. All my highlights are really either goldy or silvery. So I'm very excited to try this one out. The third highlighter is called Sundown, which is like sort of a terracotta orangey highlight, which I don't think is really going to be suitable for my skin tone. And that's called Sundown. These are really like buttery and creamy. I'm really surprised. Oh my god. <sighs> Whoa. Okay, so that's that one there. I'm wearing white jeans right now, so I've nowhere like to, to rub this off. Wow. That is so pigmented. It's definitely like an orange orange based highlight, which I don't think I could really wear that. I would personally have to wear it like as an eyeshadow, because it's just like far too dark for me. But if you do have like darker skin tone, it will be gorgeous. And then the last one is called Pool Party, which is like a really dark brownie sort of gold it's like i don't really know what that color is that one doesn't seem as pigmented as the other others so that one looks like there that one's like more of a cooler tone bronzy color so yeah i really am impressed with these so far there is a bit of powder kickback when i swatch them but nothing like dramatic and they're also like shimmery I don't think any of them have like actual glitter in them. It is definitely a universal palette. Like if you're really far, if you're really far, you can go for the lighter one. If you're really dark, you can go for the darkest one. Obviously, in anything in between, there's two middle colors. I'm gonna take these two lighter ones because I'm very pale. I'm just gonna like dial over my Jeffree Star one. Just to try and take some of it off. So I'm going to take my Real Techniques setting brush and dip into, I think I'm just going to mix Sunbeam and Siesta. I'm just going to mix both of these together. I'm just going to... Oh wow. Are you seeing this on camera? Like what? I just wiped my brush off to get the excess product off and now I'm just going to go in with Sunbeam. You can see that. And just put it on like the very, very tops of my cheekbones and my nose and cupid's bow. Can you think of that word there? So, wow, I am just like 
blown away. I have like no eye makeup on today. I literally just curled my eyelashes. Um, I filled in my eyebrows a little bit. Some concealer and bronzer and blush. And then I put on this Max Factor Max Effect Gloss Cube, which I only got today as well. In the colour, I think it's Peach Rose, I think. I love the packaging. It's so pretty. It's just like a glossy, peachy rosy colour. Honestly I am so impressed with this. It's like so so blinding. Like I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not but I don't have any like lights or anything on right now just natural lighting. So what? I'm just so impressed. Like what the hell? It's so pretty. I'm not sure if it's an exact dupe for the Anastasia one. Um, I mean like the packaging, it looks really similar. It does and like the layout as well looks really similar. I'm just not sure if the Anastasia ones have like these exact colours. But I mean if you don't want if you don't want to pay for the Anastasia one, I would definitely like recommend this if you're in the UK and can get it. I know I don't want to spend £40 for an Anastasia glow kit. Because I have like so many highlighters already. I don't want to like you know pay £40 for another four. Say if like you're really far like me. You don't want to pay like £40 for the Anastasia one. When you're only going to really use like two of the colours. Because I'm not really ever going to use them as highlighters. More or less eyeshadows. And I mean I'm never going to finish all them for eyeshadow. Even though I'm only going to use like these two. I feel like I'm still getting my money's worth. Because it's only £4. To be honest, I didn't expect it to be this good. And I don't know why, because I love Primark make makeup. Like, their foundation is one of my favourites. I don't have it on today, I just have concealer on. But I, if I wear a foundation, I usually wear that one. Yeah, if you're in Primark, pick it up. Because it's fabulous. I don't know how long it lasts. I'll maybe like write in the description if it lasted long or if it faded four pound i definitely recommend purchasing this i'm just walking in primark and it just like caught my eye i was like what the hell is that and it's like sort of a dupe for the anastasia glow kit so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um i personally i did like can you see this highlight Woo! so yeah give it a thumbs up and i'll talk to you again in the future bye